Good afternoon from the Hoover Dam. My name is Ryan. And I'm Bree. And we are going to bring you on a tour all around the gift shops, the different tours that are available, the cafe. We're going to give you a feel for what it's like coming to the Hoover Dam. So we invite you to join us on today's adventure to the Hoover Dam. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let the adventure begin. rented a car for the day from our hotel in the main Las Vegas Strip. We put the GPS address to the Hoover Dam. It said 45 minutes, so we headed on our way and found this little overlook on the way to the dam. It says, you are here. How do they always know that? <laughs> it's amazing. The Colorado River is going to come to Lake Mead, which is where the dam is holding that lake, which then, of course, produces the power for Las Vegas. Whether it's the Smokies or the Rockies or even out here in the desert, it's always wonderful to see God's amazing creation in all different colors and shapes and sizes. It's beautiful. And temperatures. It's a little bit warm. I think it's over 100 degrees right now. After we left the Overlook, we worked our way over to a scenic bridge that you can walk on, but we had to stop through a security checkpoint. They just kind of looked in the vehicle and asked us the following question. Hey, good afternoon. Uh, any firearms? No, yeah. sir. Far left, have a good day. Thank, Thank you. you. Once we were through the checkpoint, we worked our way towards the Mike O'Callaghan Pat Tillman Memorial Bridge. This was built in 2005 and it gives you an amazing view of the Hoover Dam. I'd highly recommend making a, a stop here. So there was no cost for parking. I do see some restrooms right here, some vending machines with some water, drinks. But we're gonna walk over here. So it looks like they have a set of stairs we're gonna go up or it is handicap accessible. You can see a bunch of different information about the Hoover Dam. No pets on trail or bridge walkway. Except a service animal. Unless you have a service animal. At the time of recording it, it is August 8th. I believe we're over 100 degrees right now. Definitely make sure you have plenty of water as we work our way up here. Go at your own pace. You can do the stairs, or you got the handicap accessible. Well, there are your stairs. You have a little area you can sit, stop, and look out here. Looks like another little informational area and place to rest. Again, more information about the footings for the bridge, the span of the bridge, history of all the construction. As we head out to the Mike O'Callaghan Pat Tillman Memorial Bridge, we're gonna get a fantastic view of the Hoover Dam. This bridge has a length of 1900 feet it's 840 feet above the Colorado River. This is the first concrete and steel composite arch bridge built in the United States. It includes the widest concrete arch in the Western Hemisphere and is also the second highest bridge in the nation with some amazing views of the Hoover Dam. And a gorgeous view. Uh, and look at all the helicopters tours. Oh yeah, lots of helicopters up in the air. Man. Bridge is shaking. Yeah, I do feel it shaking. <laughs> <laughs> oh <laughs> man. But incredible view 
right, I, think, I think we're gonna head back. All right. This, all right, that was great. All right, let's go. <laughs> if we did keep walking, we'd eventually hit the Arizona side. The Hoover Dam! Woo! <laughs> so, I don't think that's too hard of a little walk up the stairs and uh, yeah. It's a great view. Hey, go Bucks! Hey, I was born in Tampa. <laughs> Grew up in Orlando. Oh, very cool. This is the bridge we were just on. We're now going under it. Keep your eye out for any transformers. <laughs> any uh... Decepticons? Yeah, keep an eye out for Decepticons. I heard this is where they keep some of them. <sighs> I'd love to meet Optimus Prime, but I heard he's down in Orlando. <sighs> Universal Studios, it's the last place he was spotted. Nevada time, there's a little clock there. I wonder if that's different from Arizona time. Yeah, I think Arizona basically says, we're not doing this whole daylight savings thing. And we are now in Arizona. There are some free parking spots here on the Arizona side, which we're able to get one, but we're looking at it and it's a pretty far walk off to the gift shop. So we're just gonna drive back across. The so garage hours, 8 a.m. to 5.15 p.m. This is uh, shaded parking. And yes, it's not free, but it is significantly closer. <laughs> so it's $10 to park here in the garage. They do have handicap parking here as well. Hey, hey, hey. there's a trillion and 10. You can keep the change. Trillion and ten. Look at this guy. <laughs> <laughs> you get your receipt. All right. You want it back? Or you, you no, you can keep it. Yeah, the trillion's for you. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah. <laughs> From the parking garage, there are some stairs you can take down. But we're gonna try out the elevator here. Notice the following items are prohibited. Excessive heat warning. Temperatures are forecasted to reach very dangerous levels. Drink plenty of water, take frequent breaks. Yeah. Give your husband a back massage. Massage your wife's feet. <laughs> oh wait, maybe I tried to slip that one in. I guess maybe it wasn't on the sign. Right, so Escalators are down. You want to go down to the visitor center? Yeah. All right. It's probably air conditioned. I'll follow you. <laughs> Welcome to Hoover Dam Visitor Center. Security screening. Guided power plant tour. This one's about an hour long. This one's about 30 minutes long. We're gonna do this one. Or you could just go up to the visitor center for $10. So we're gonna bring you guys on the guided power plant tour. We're gonna go in here and watch a movie first. We've got some restrooms, some places to fill your water bottles. It's a great little photo spot here. And they have another green screen photo spot as we're waiting for our movie to begin. Construction of a dam, any dam, was only a dream. But in 1921, Secretary of Commerce Herbert Hoover joined representatives from the seven states to seek out a solution to equal water rights. And in 1931, the structure that would one day bear Hoover's name began with an explosion. Not only of black powder and dynamite, but one of human tenacity and ingenuity. Dan reminds us of the need to dream noble purposes and the strength of the human spirit to achieve great aspirations. So we just watched the movie and now we're gonna go to the power plant tour. Have a good tour folks, right this way, enjoy. My name is Matt, I'll be your power plant guide for the day. We're going down 54 stories, about 537 feet through Black Canyon right now. It'll be nice and cool where we're going for the power plant tour, so take advantage of that. We're going to be exploring how Hoover Dam was created in the 30s first, as well as see Big Pipe Pole Penstock. Then go up a level to see the power plant generators, as shown to my left here, a 41 photo of that. We'll be finishing topside in the visitor center. We're well, going to do a self guide of the exhibits and observation deck there. And I promise to keep my damn jokes to a mouse. Oh, yeah. <laughs> In 
an inner Nevada diversal tunnel right here on our map diagram. We have four, as I mentioned, tunnels here, two on the Arizona side, two on the Nevada side. Each of these are 50 feet in diameter, about three quarters of a mile long. They build this just under two years, a phenomenally fast rate. It's also the most dangerous hard labor work involved in building the dam here. These intake towers have big pipes on the bottom sunk in the water to where we are currently right now. As you look down to the left, a little bit to the right outside the window, we are standing on one of the four penstock pipes. These can carry up to 96,000 gallons of water per second at high capacity. That's enough to fill an Olympic-sized swimming pool every 6.6 6 seconds. This vibration, you can feel some of this water going to the power plant below us right now. Sometimes later in the day when the afternoon demand peaks, it will be like a train, literally. I have to be shouting for this line to be heard. Well, this wraps up our first stage of the power plant tour. We're next going to see the Nevada balcony. about these tunnels is they're very cool. Visitor center is the last stop. We'll be exiting to the left. Straight ahead will be the exhibit area. The observation deck just beyond the stairs from the elevator will take you up to a great view of the dam there. Just hold on to your hats and other items. It may be windy up there. I say do that first. Get hot and a great view and come back down and see the exhibits cool off and take your time. Right this way. You hope you the tour. So that wraps up our tour. Come take a look out the glass here. Elevator to the overlook. So we're going to go up to the top here and check out this observation tower, part of the visitor center. And of course, it's right behind me because I was looking in that direction. Oh! There you go. Oh, you get a good, good shot of the bridge. Ooh, hot. Yeah. Only 
across the base. What do you think? Thank you. cubic yards of concrete. That's huge. enough concrete to build a two-lane <laughs> roadway thinking. from San Francisco to New York like City. She slid down it. The thickness of the roadway is a mere 45 feet. But as the dam expands okay. towards the base, it reaches 660 feet. These things look so weird. Yeah. They're like the largest man-made reservoir in the United States. So weird that they're at an angle like that. That's where Chevy Chase fell. Oh yeah. Storage oh, capacity. And that's where we were, right up there. So the area you can walk out to. Lots of places to come get some views or stand on the AC vent when it's 104 out there. Have a what? Oh yeah, plenty of AC vents on these hot summer months. So if the heat is too much for you, stand over the AC and take in the views. Pretty cool. They have the Hoover Dam Exhibit Gallery, which is part of your admission to the Visitor Center, whether you just pay the $10 or the $15 ticket like we got to go down to the power plant area. Oh, you can get a Hoover Dam water for $5. Official Hoover Dam refillable water bottle. This will be good for some hikes on the Smoky Mountains. It's fun. And you get your electrolytes and your keys. There you go. It's nice and cold. Enjoy. I'm going to. So they have a little map here. It says, uh, you are here. Again, how do they know that? I guess we want to go start this way. As you go through the exhibit gallery, you can learn all about why it was built, the history of how it was built, and then learn all about how does it work, including this inside view of one of those generators we saw earlier on the tour. So a number of different sections to kind of learn about the science of how the Hoover Dam works. All right, so we're gonna exit here and go across the street to the gift shop. Before we head over to the gift shop, I did wanna do a quick walk and show you both sides of the dam from the dam itself. You can see many places to stop, take photos along the way, but Brie actually said, hey, it's hot. I'm gonna hang in the shade for a minute. I said, I'll be right back and went for a quick walk so I could show you views from both sides. grab some lunch and show you what's on the menu here at the Hoover Dam. But first, let's go in the gift shop and look around. And get yourself a big dam mug. When beavers dream. I like that one. That's cute shirt. $45, you could get a Hoover Dam hoodie. I like that it has an 
North Nevada and Arizona. For $18, you could build your own Hoover Dam, your own miniature Hoover Dam model. So now that we've checked out the store, we're gonna go into the cafe. So the cafe has a number of different drinks, snacks, a couple different options. And I wanted to show you the menu. Hey, they have some breakfast, lunch items, burgers, dogs. You're welcome to pause the video and take a look. A couple of salads, wraps, and kids meals for $6. Brie ended up getting this grilled cheese and french fry along with a dollar drink. So you can see some of the inside seating if it is really hot or cold in this cafe area next to the gift shop. And they have a lot of outdoor seating, which again, on this hot day, no one was utilizing, but just wanted to let you know that's available. Well, that wraps up our look at the Hoover Dam. <laughs> we hope you guys have enjoyed coming with us as we also check out this bridge. That was a really neat view from the top of the bridge. What was your favorite part of everything we just covered? I think going on the bridge was, even though it was a little scary, <laughs> ah, it was my favorite. But otherwise, that wraps up our tour of the Hoover Dam. We hope you guys have enjoyed coming with us. We hope you learned something. We hope you just enjoyed watching along with us. And if you have any damn questions, just go ahead and leave them in the comments. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next adventure. Bye. Bye.